Sakagaki decided to implant spider genes into silkworm eggs. It must have been a nuisance for the silkworms. But I wanted to develop a fiber that combines the properties of silk and spider silk. The genetically modified silkworms may be suffering an identity crisis, but after 10 years of trials, Professor Nakagaki was finally able to create a new kind of silkworm. Cocoons made from these silkworms contain about 10% spider silk. Thread made from this super silk is more elastic than normal silk. Professor Nakagaki has collaborated with a textile producer to create a sample pair of stockings made with a new thread. The material is stretchier and more resistant to wear and tear than other fabric. But a number of obstacles need to be overcome before this super silk can be put into practical use. For instance, the cocoons from the mutant silkworms are smaller than those of normal worms. This makes the thread from them much more costly. To get over this hurdle, Professor Nakagaki plans to crossbreed his super silkworms with worms that produce large cocoons. I've finally gotten over a major problem in developing the new fiber. From now on, I'll concentrate on finding a way to make the fiber commercially viable. Who would have thought that the whimsical spider and the humble silkworm would make such a perfect match? Though it may still be a while before you could be flying through the air, after all, it may not be long before you are able to benefit from the super strength of spider thread.